starting route to Ocean Edge Resort and Golf Club. So here we are, friends. It is April 9th. It is just after 10 o'clock. Gassed up, headed to Brewster, Massachusetts. Oh my gosh. Ocean Edge uh, Resort and Golf Club working uh, as in the activities team as well as the beach manager for the summer. It's crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. 2021, man. What a year. Another road trip. So thanks for joining me. Uh, we got we got like three days to drive like 20 hours. So hopefully we'll see some fun stuff. And uh, yeah, again, as always, I, I like to apologize for like the weird like minute, minute and a half videos. Uh, if you've been following along every day, uh, they were a little bit of uh, <laughs> a buffer to get me through packing and getting ready to do this uh, journey. But yeah, here we go. This is it. Onward and upward. You know, best way to start a road trip with traffic. Okay, so leaving Orlando at 10 o'clock on a Friday wasn't exactly the greatest idea I've ever had. Traffic has been ridiculous. Uh, it has taken me two hours to get from my house just to Daytona in 95. Um, so I'm still at like 19 hours total. But at least I'm driving. I spoke too soon. hours to get to 95 from my house, which is only 77 miles. Three hours. So it's just about 10 after 3 or so, and I have uh, finally made it to the Florida-Georgia line. Finally crossed over to Georgia, that's about 5 hours from my house to Georgia, which is not how long that should take, so uh, I think everything might be a little uh, pushed back. It's alright, it's okay. I don't have to be up in Brewster until uh, 4 or 5 o'clock on Sunday, so still plenty of time. Just not as far ahead as I'd like to be, but it is what it is. So just about an hour ago, crossed over into South Carolina. Stopped for gas. Doing well, everything's going well. Lots of traffic today, but that's okay. It's all right, traffic's okay. We're gonna we're gonna press on. The goal is to stop at the south of the border. I've made it to the south of the border, which is right on the Carolina border between South and North Carolina. This is the Peddler Steakhouse. It's shaped like a sombrero. I mean, how could I not eat it? Bar, asked me to wear my mask, and they gave me gloves. So, you know, things are different up here. That's good. Got my own like, loaf of bread. Got butter looks awesome. Ribeye. Sweet potato fry. Not fry. It's a sweet potato. Yeah, but. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. 
So that was surprisingly delicious. A little on the expensive side, but then again, it's a little bit of a tourist trap, so I uh, kind of get it. I'm gonna push on another 100 miles and see where that pits puts me. It is about 10 to 10, so I've literally been traveling for 12 hours. I don't think I've ever been to South Border in the daylight. There's some crazy stuff around here. Guys, I was so excited to stop driving that I almost forgot to finish out this video. Stopping for the night it is, I think, Smithfield, North Carolina. Because I just, I couldn't do anymore. Couldn't go. Uh, a good first day, slow start because of traffic and whatnot. Not as far as I would like to be, but still further ahead than if I was still at home. So I'm following. Um, tomorrow's a brand new day. Hope, you, <laughs> hope you're enjoying following along. You know all the things. And of course, it's a good day to have a good day.